Hey everyone, in this video I would like to show you how you can connect up your Asia Tam uh, high tension flash unit to a Mako. It's very simple to do, um, most people don't realize how easy it is. Okay, first thing you could do, um, or what I have done here, is you've got to understand the wires for your flash unit. Now normally you'd have a five pin plug here, but uh, the flash unit actually only uses three. So I've just taken the pins out and put them into a three pin unit, but other than that, this orientation of the color of the wire should be the same. So you'll find on one end you have a blue wire, then a black wire, then a red wire. Okay. Now, the red wire is a positive voltage supply. So um, it's actually straight from your battery, so it's 7 volts. The blue wire is your ground. And in true hang long fashion, the black wire, although it's not ground, it's actually your positive signal. So there's your supply wires, the two outside and the black wire in the middle is the trigger, trigger input for your flash unit. So all we need to do is to match up those wires with the pins, with appropriate pins on our Mako board. Now, the easiest way to get a signal from the Mako to trigger the flash is from the Canon LED uh, signal pin. So if you look at our Mako, that's where our indicator LED goes. The next set of pins down from the top, the second row of pins here, uh, is our Canon flash pins. The pin that is closest here to the center of the board is the positive pulse. So we want to connect uh, black wire on our Agitam flash unit, the middle pin, to that pin there. Also, you can also if you look down here, everything on Mako is very clearly labeled. You can see where we've got a positive supply and a ground supply. So on these three pin headers, Okay, the middle pin is a positive supply, and this outer pin is your ground. So there we have the three connections for our, for our, uh, to trigger our flash. So we'll take this, um, the easiest way to connect it up is to buy maybe, or just find one of these, um, they're for Arduino, they're just a male to female connector. Okay, and let's wire it up. So let's put the blue pin in with the blue to match up there. Okay, got that wrong. Okay, the blue pin to the blue. And the green pin will be our signal. Get that into the middle. Okay, so blue, blue, green is now our signal, and our positive supply is now the yellow wire. So, on Mako, all we need to do is put our, well, our signal pin. We said this comes from the Canon LED. So we plug that into there. Now, our blue is the ground. That is correct. Okay, our ground pin goes to any one of these. See, they're labeled here ground. So if you're not using a servo, you can connect it up to where the servo would go. Uh, let's see, that's just there. And then the yellow is our positive supply, and that goes into the middle pin, any one of those middle pins in that three-pin setup. That's a bit hard to see there, but um, maybe we can look at it here. Okay, so... Blue is ground, goes to the outer pin. Yellow is the positive voltage supply, which connects up to the middle pin. And the green is our signal trigger, which connects up to our LED cannon flash pin there. Okay, so with that all connected, okay, I can put our Mako connection, our hammerhead, sorry, connection back in. There we go. That's all set up to trigger our flash. And we'll move our, actually, I'll hold it up. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, our um, system is actually all turned on. I'll just turn up the volume. Okay, and now we'll just uh, fire our RX-18 and watch the Mako trigger the flash unit. There we go. Hopefully, uh, it is a pretty rapid flash. I hope it gets caught on the frame rate again. There we go, and see the reload period is now over on the Mako and a third time. So that's how you trigger, uh, turn everything off. So that's how you uh, set up your Mako to trigger your Asia Tan flash unit. Thank you.